What's up, boys? It's been a while since we've done a vlog, and today is the start of the season 21 to 22 Rocket League land. The first land in two years. The last land was the one we won with Turbo on our team. Now we have Squishy. And this is the night before uh, we leave to Sweden. So I'm just filming this before. I just ate some fire pomegranates, you know. Shout out Pops with the pomegranates. I devoured those. But. So, nothing to do right now, I just wanted to say what's up, let you all know this is the intro to the vlog, it's gonna be a good time. There's not, I'm not gonna let you all know right now. From what I've heard about the protocols and stuff with COVID, I don't think we're able to go out that much and film too much. So I'm gonna film when I can, hopefully I can make it a good vlog. I love you guys, enjoy the video. Deuces. All right boys, how you guys doing? We are now at the airport, just got through security. It took a while because it's international, so. But we're going over to Newark first. From Newark, I'll see you guys in Sweden, you know what I'm saying? I'm no cap. I heard there's some crazy chocolates in Sweden. My parents were like, you gotta bring us some back. So, you know, I gotta bring them some chocolates back, you know what I'm saying? But I will be seeing Squishy when I get to, to Newark. Me and him are traveling together. Musty Garrett, Sweden, uh, Musty Garrett, Justin are gonna be traveling down on their own to Sweden, all three together, and uh, yeah. We'll all meet up there. I guess I'll see you guys when I land in Newark. All right, we've officially arrived in Sweden. We traveled for like, what, 20 something hours? That was really fun and enjoyable. Me and Squishy, me and Squishy got on our flight. Hello. Immediately, it was like 90 degrees in the flight, and we texted Garrett and Justin that we might not make it, so. <laughs> Justin was about to sub in for both of us, so. That would be good vibes. We could just stay home, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though. Well, in Sweden now, we'll see you guys in the hotel. Nothing to do for a while. And uh, yeah, here's James. Stop. <laughs> James, or the whole Rock Lee crew's here. Sup, boys? Yo. Yes, sir. Later. All right, boys. Well, it is day three of being in Sweden. We arrived two days ago. Today's the third day. We finished our 48 hour quarantine. We just took our COVID tests a couple hours ago. Oh, let me get the better angle. So we all tested negative. We are allow, allowed to go to the practice room. So we're about to head over. We pretty much did nothing for the past two days. So you won't really see any footage of that because I was just sitting in my room, listening to music, watching shows. That's about it, but now, finally get to start practicing. So I'm gonna go meet up with the boys in the practice room. We're about to get escorted real quick, and uh, yeah. See you over there, baby. No, what are they talking about? No, my dick is so... No, my dick is so... Fuck. I'm dead. I can't I'm... <laughs> what? Unless he fucking sis wiggling his camera around right now. I gotta, I gotta leave it like that. We're mid-streams. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's Tokyo Verde right now. Got Garrett G right here. You freaking loser. Looking pretty cute. <sighs> Swishy over there doing some sus things. Who's fucking. Is this Just new shit? touching my fucking feet, dude. What? Anything you'd like to say, Swishy? Or, uh, no, no, no. Anything you'd like to say? Uh, no, I'm not going to try to pass the time with the boys. Yeah? It's good to hear, man. Stop to the face, bro. I'm not doing any face. All right, well. Tomorrow we go to the studio. We'll see how that goes. It's gonna be cool to see how all the studio looks like. They said it looks sick, so. We'll see, baby. All right, what's up, boys? It is day four of being day four of being here. Uh, day five is tomorrow, which is the eighth, and tomorrow we start the matches. So today. We're going to the studio for the first time. We've never seen it yet. They've hyped it up a lot, saying it looks crazy. It's probably the best studio they've ever made. So we're very excited for it. Um, haven't really been doing much this morning. I woke up pretty early. None of the boys are awake yet, from what I know. I woke up at like 6.30. You know, I'm the I'm the, I'm the, the dad, so I got to wake up a little bit early, get stuff done for them. I went in and cleaned the room and stuff. But going to get that done today. I'll see you guys in the studio. I haven't really been doing much this morning. I've been watching fucking... Watch, <laughs> watching Russ content. So, you know, shout out... Uh, don't look at my undies. Shout out, um, uh, Frost, uh, Blueprint, Disfigure, you know, keeping your boy entertained. Some quality Rust content, ate some breakfast. The breakfast has been kind of scuffed, but today, look, no cap, it was the best it's ever been. Mainly because there was a green apple, and I'm a big fan of green apples, so, you yeah. know. Had some nice, uh, turkey, tomatoes, yogurt, green apples, fire, so, yeah. Not much else to do, just wanted to say what's up. I'll see you guys at the studio. So we got this paper saying welcome to the RLCS major. 
All right, it says, you know, energies, accomplishments, blah, blah, blah. Copy, paste stuff. Just in cla a classic negativity that we are unnecessary. And uh, all of a sudden, you just go down and it says, not only is the same region watching, but so is the world. You're telling me these guys think we're from South America or they just are excluding the same region. Therefore, sign is confirmed bias nope. and toxic. So I should get unbanned from my previous ban. <laughs> drop me and it's over, bro. What do you mean it's over? We're the whole land's over if you drop him. Yeah, the whole land's over. Let's see what it feels like. What? What? I'm not even trolling. He wants to see. No, he's off the walls, dude. It's okay. What do you mean drop him? You're gonna no, you're actually gonna break the chair. Listen, you got four hundred dollars to drop on a chair, then drop it. Yeah, he does have four hundred dollars. Oh, okay, okay, careful, careful, gamers, careful. It's chalk. Careful, gamers. This guy, this guy says gamers and everything. I'm not trying to sub in anytime soon, guys. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> You're gonna fucking unscrew my, my wheel so I can break my neck. So you can sub in. That's not true, right? Video. No, totally, totally not true. He filled up my water yesterday and I was sketchy. Put some <laughs> <laughs> not even no oh, shot, dude. Where's the garbage at? It's right there. Right here. Right here, right here Squishy. Right here. <laughs> Squishy, right here. Right here. Stop with <laughs> <laughs>
This is my this is my favorite thing to do. This is my favorite thing to do. Come over here. Lower. Lower. Lower a little bit. That's good. Hey, that's the spot. That's the spot. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what she said. Everybody's fighting for their lives. <laughs> about the game soon on stage versus endpoint over there they're warming up as well and uh, you know now we're just chilling getting ready making sure all the audio is good we got a little bit of audio issues but we're trying to fix it and uh, you know hopefully we can play soon boys are a little bit warm right now because we just scrimmed so be good to go right into the match after the scrim and uh, yeah see you guys later oh wait oh it's mr. CJ CJ what? They love it. Honestly, this vlog's gonna be boring though. Is it? I mean, what do we do to this land? I, at least I went out, I vlogged stuff. I know. I couldn't even kiss you on the lips earlier. I'll kiss you on the lips later. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> well, I haven't updated since yesterday, but <coughs> yesterday what happened? We lost. Today we somehow won. Why the fuck is there a spoon on the ground? Where? Well, I'm, gonna go tell I'm actually gonna go tell them. <laughs> Is that awkward if I tell him? Nah, I don't think it's awkward. Well, no, Alright, well. Mom replied to Torso saying, yes, exclamation point, it with me. Well, we made it, the playoffs, boys. Oh uh, we had to play Vitality. We 3 0'd them, and we played Ground Zero, 3 0'd them. So, somehow we made the top, top playoffs, or top playoffs, top eight. And uh, yeah, here we are. So See you guys tomorrow. Nothing much to really update but that. Peace out. What's up, guys? We are back at the hotel. Got some dubs today. Beat Vitality 3-0. Beat GZ 3-0. I'm heading back to the room. I was in the practice room just chilling, playing some games. We played some CS 2v2s. Me and Garrett for Squishy Justin, of course. Of course, me and Garrett won. You know, of course. Today was a good day, Rockley, huh? We just kind of came in today just saying, like, fuck it, you know? Because, like, I, we were kind of overthinking a lot of stuff. I felt like, like, it's kind of overanalyzing. Like, I was watching a lot of replays, and Garrett was watching them with me, and, like, we kept, like, analyzing a lot of stuff. I think it made us kind of overthink too much, so. We decided to, like, use our brain less. Sounds kind of stupid, but, I don't know, I kind of just, like, stopped pointing out all the flaws and just like point out little things I noticed the other team doing instead of like everything they were doing and like just making minor adjustments rather than like trying to you know change our play style and like it worked at season 8 pretty well but it's not like really working at this land because it's just like different like the meta's gotten a lot faster well, it's kind of a sick view the meta's gotten a lot faster and um I don't know this play style seems like it's really demo heavy and it's like working really well and uh, this land rewards playing aggressive, so I don't know. We changed it up a little bit. We decided to play more aggressive, and we kind of let Justin do his thing more and up the comms a lot. Comms were kind of a big issue. We were pretty quiet with most things, so I think that helped. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. We're gonna go in tomorrow, probably just adjusting again. You know, we'll make minor adjustments during the games, but we'll keep uh, the main thing really is just our comms need to step up, and we just tried, we just stopped overthinking stuff. But yeah. <sighs> it's been a good land though, you know, kind of boring, you know, I know this vlog, this vlog has just been my room, right, just fucking my room, and then just like the practice room, but there's not really much else I can go, I wish I could have shown you more of the city, um, cause it is pretty nice, you know, it's kind of, I've never really been around snow this much, and it's fucking freezing here, so I don't know how anyone can live in Sweden like this, but this is ass, oh, tomorrow, I want to do, okay, listen, tomorrow I'll vlog my breakfast, I haven't shown you guys the breakfast yet, it's literally, <laughs> it's straight up like I'm fucking in prison, like GTA prison. They just serve, you know how, in G like GTA role play, they'll fucking serve you food in prison, and like, I swear it's just the same thing. I just, it's like a fucking egg and some cracker that's fucked up. That it just like you can throw it out a window and it'll probably break the window, and then bread that's probably stale most of the time. And then apparently there's pear juice. I'm mean, I'm always excited for the orange juice, but apparently they have pear juice, which is kind of that sounds sick. But I think I'd rather have orange juice anyway. Tomorrow we play Sandrock. That I love Sandrock. I love those guys. Uh, Senzo actually asked for my. Oh, well, this is this is basically a sponsor, you know. Senzo asked for my perfume. He, my perfume. He asked for my cologne. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
I thought I fucking dropped it. Yes, yeah, so my cologne. I don't even know the name of it, but I went home. Saw this one. This one. This smells crazy. So Senza literally, I walked by him. He's like, "Sis, you smell crazy." I was like, "Thanks, G." And then you know, I said, "He's like, can I get your cologne?" I was like, "Let me go back to the top. Let you know which one it is." But yeah, so I I love the Sandrock guys. Like if we lose to them, I'm rooting for them to win. Like for sure. I I don't even care about any teams. Like I was originally like I want I kind of want a face to win because like you know they're uh they're like probably the NA's other hope. They're I mean they are NA's other hope. Complexity as well, right? But um, I'd much rather I'd much rather just root for SRG just because I think those guys are sick and they deserve it. It'd be it'd be crazy ultimate ultimate storyline if they win, especially with Khaled not playing and Senzo in. So I think that'd be sick. But yeah, love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Let's catch you later, baby. All right, I told you guys I was gonna show you the prison breakfast, right? I've been eating it. I've been eating it like. Fucking randomly like I just feel almost like fuck it. So today I was I'm not really feeling it But I was like, you know, I gotta do it at least once so Let's show you guys what we're working with today. All right Here's the bag. This is one of the bags, right? You guys see what's in there. Okay so Banana solid when there's a banana. I usually like it. You know, bananas are solid There's a a mushed up croissant Okay, mushed up croissant. We got some bread. This isn't as stale as the other ones. This is better. This is a little bit better than the other ones, so. You know, looking solid. It's not as stale. It's a little bit stale on the bottom. Because it was flipped like this. So this isn't as bad. There's this one. Oh, this one's chalk. This is like... I could probably throw this at the window, and it'll actually, I can't even squish it. I, I, I'm like literally trying my hardest to squish it. I don't even think you can tell. It's not even moving. But this is chalk. This is like not even, not even possible. So that you don't even fucking, fucking eat. What's this? What was this called again? Apricot. This is apricot jam. I think. It looks like apricot jam. But also it says... App, it says like apple sin simmer I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't it sounds like it's apple, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's apricot, but I'm probably not gonna eat that. And this is the highlight of the whole breakfast. This is the highlight of the whole breakfast. Hold on, let me tilt this up a little bit. It is a hard boiled egg. I love this. This is the honestly the best thing because I just fucking I just take it and I just fucking I slam that shit and I crack it open and I just devour the egg. They've been forgetting though that I salt and pepper for the past like three days, so I've just been eating a fucking egg with no salt and pepper every day. It's been kind of chalk, but you know whatever. All right, this is the other one. Comes in this, so this is like some granola shit, and uh, usually I just don't eat this, so. Like, in my opinion, you could tell the cheese is scuffed when, like, you smell it, right? I'll try to tell you what's You smell it, and it just smells... It smells strong. But then you, you eat it, and it just smells like nothing. So that's how you can tell the cheese is chalked. Like, like, it smells strong as fuck. It smells like a sharp cheese. Like, super sharp. I'll take a bite right now. It's by itself. I haven't really tried it by itself. I'm a big cheese guy. But that ain't it. Like, just give me some Parmesan, you know? Give me a slice of Parmesan. I'll be so happy. Parmesan slaps, you know? And then, oh, they, they gave me more than two? More than one, I mean? They gave me two slices of turkey today. They upped it. This yogurt, this isn't actually that bad. It's pretty good. Yesterday, it was like watery for some reason, so I just didn't even bother eating it. So, I'm probably just going to eat this. The apple juice, the turkey slices, and usually what I do is I take this bread, and I'm, I'm trying not to eat too much carbs, but honestly, I don't really have a choice here, because fucking literally every meal is just carbs, so I usually try to just cut this in half, just to eat it with something. And they didn't bring, they forgot the butter and the salt and pepper, so that's bad vibes, but whatever. At home, I was doing like a no-carb diet. 
for like a month and a half. Justin just texted me. But it got shocked. I don't know. I was doing no carb and it got shocked. I came here. There's no way. Every single meal. Literally every single meal is fucking. It's just carbs. Like all the. Like yesterday was like lasagna. The day before was like a fucking scuffed ass burger. And I forgot what else. Honestly I'm like losing track of stuff. That one before that was like scalloped potatoes. And then mashed potatoes. It's just. They love their carbs here. They love them. All right, so this is how I this is how I crack the egg. I just take it, right? And just fucking, just fucking slam that bitch. And here we go. Now I just sit here, fucking peeling an egg, and um, not really doing anything else. But yeah, anything I want to update you guys on? Most of you are gonna be wondering. I feel like uh, actually I'll cut you guys a little story about like what happened after we lost yesterday. So the first loss was rough because Justin was tilted out of his mind. Um, you know, he had to. Be, he was like uncomfortable on stage. She's like, he has this placebo, and I don't really blame him for it. You know, everyone has their own little thing. And he confirmed beforehand that he could uh, deal with this placebo on stage, and it was fine. But then the admins made him change it, so that's why he was annoyed. But it was it didn't warrant what uh, the tweet or anything. So he knew he messed up on that part, um, which is good. You know, it's good to regain. You know, it's like the hero story. They go to their lowest, and they come back up, and they. Uh, you know, they did their best. They could possibly win the tournament. We literally were, like, completely thinking we were out. Like, we were getting, we were like, fuck it. Let's just go in. Like, who gives a fuck? Let's just go. Oh, my God. This egg is getting chopped. But, um, yeah, so we were in the car going back after we lost to Endpoint. And we weren't really tilted at the Endpoint loss. Uh, we were tilted. Or, no. Was it Endpoint? Yeah, no, no. The BDS loss, we were tilted. The Endpoint loss, we weren't tilted. End point loss, like we we're in the car shuttle going back home. It was like we were just, we we're just like trolling the whole night. We were like, everything was like going wrong in our heads. Like my two, my shoe was untied, and then Justin pulled out his mouse to watch the stream, and it fucking closed the stream instead, or to refresh the stream because it was delayed. So he pulled it out to refresh it, and he closed it, and then and then um, complexity scored, and then we didn't see what happened, and then we had to find out later. So it was just like a funny sequence of events about everything going wrong. Uh, so, in the car ride home, even, oh, even, I ordered McDonald's for everyone, and the McDonald's arrived two hours later than I ordered. So, the McDonald's literally arrived, uh, I ordered it at 10 when we're leaving to the hotel, because we can't order any food to the, uh, venue. So, there was no options to order, so I ordered McDonald's, and it came two hours late, and half the food items are just fucking missing. So, it was chocked. Because <laughs> everything was just going wrong. Um, and then there was a point where like we're just taking a turn. We're literally just turning in the car And like we're just like going like left and Garrett's like guys. I just felt it. We were like what? I do we just turned we just turned right that is where the land just changed and everyone just starts fucking busting out laughing and Everyone just like holy fuck. Holy we can do it now. We can fucking do it and then, but what's funny is as after we got home, we go to the practice room, and Garrett's the one that's like, oh, it's chalk, the land's over, it's chalk, should I call and change my flight to tomorrow? It's chalk, it's done, get me out of this fucking land, dude. I thought I was a land player, I'm not. He's like, Sis, Sis, how's your time? Is it nice? Like, you just get the stream and like, you know, you just got to make YouTube videos, that's kind of nice. I was like, dude, Garrett, dude, shut the fuck up, dude. I was like, shut the fuck up. This guy was so off the deep end. So fun. And you know he's off the deep end when, when Squishy when Squishy and fucking Justin are the ones trying to get him to regain. That's how you know he's off the deep end. Because Garrett usually the one trying to get them to regain. So. Alright, let's try this egg, shall we? Mmm. I'm kind of late to the breakfast. Like an hour late. I forgot to pick it up. Oh, I wasn't figure out. I was kind of asleep. So it's kind of cold now. Dude, this whole thing just smells. Whatever, I'm just eating the yolk. <laughs> Dude, this is actually. Listen. No disrespect to Sweden. This is a fucking fourth world country. Like, like. How do you guys not have bidets? And you know what? They usually always put like a dessert item, like a chocolate muffin or something. My turkey just fell into the eggshells. 
and we regain. Fuck that slice of cheese. There's no napkin. Come on, at least give me a napkin. How else do you want me to open the egg? With a fucking knife? Like, look at this knife. This might be sharper than this knife. This fucking straw. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Fuck, that's the number one rule of juice. You gotta shake it. Ooh, this kind of slaps. All right, well, this is the rest of our meal, I guess. So, let's one bite it, shall we? Let's go crazy. Let's go, wait, here. Let's see how fast I can do it. it speed of light, ready? All right, time to play my fellow Middle Easterns. <laughs> if we lose to them, I'm still rooting for them, no cap. No cap. Right, Musty? Yeah, I saw that Sunless video, man, low-key, like, don't tell the boys. Kinda put me in the mood I, for them. I kinda want them to beat us, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it was a good video. All right. What is up, boys? So, <clears throat> we made it to the last day of the land somehow. Somehow. Um, things were looking chalked. Uh, in the words of Garrett G, after we lost to Endpoint. Uh, it was definitely more chalked. I talked about this yesterday, but yeah. So, I don't know. We brought it back. You know, we went in with, the, with a couple game plans, like changing it up as we go. We kind of upped the comms a lot and, you know, suck like trying to overthink things. And, you know, it worked out well. We beat... Uh, Sanra yesterday, that team was crazy. That team was actually crazy. Like, it was almost a 4-0 for us, and then they just like they called a timeout in game three, and we had we their game two. We still won game three, but then like afterwards, they just like so aggressive, and they gave us no space on the challenges, and they were demoing, and it was really hard to get out of defense, and we had to adjust, and we ended up winning, which was really convenient, you know, because I actually felt like that was losable, even though it was four almost 4-0 at one point. Uh, they're just a crazy team, really, and, uh, you know, shout out SRG, I love those guys. They're crazy, crazy land players, and I know for sure we're going to see them a lot uh, in the upcoming year. But, yeah, you know, last day of the land, we're going to go to the studio soon. I'm the first one awake with the boys. I have to go get all my stuff out of the room because they're uh, shutting down the practice room. So, uh, you know, we have nothing really to do right now. We're just going to wait for our shuttle, and then we're going to head over to the studio, and uh, we're going to play some games. We play versus Phase today. That's definitely going to be by far the hardest matchup we've had. Um, FaZe is looking pretty crazy on land. I'm about to go to the practice room for a bit while we have it and just review some of their VODs and, you know, see what we can do. But, you know, yeah, it's going to be a hard matchup regardless. So those guys are looking pretty good. First Killer is definitely a proven land player, I would say. He, uh, I don't know, like back in the day it was like, you know, there was a big difference between land players and onliners. But nowadays I think it's kind of closed the gap a lot for some players. Like First Killer... Definitely crazy on land. Like some players definitely underperform. Like I'm not gonna call out any specific players, but I mean I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about in terms of who underperformed without even meaning to say it. You know, a lot of teams that should have done well and they underperformed on their first land. So you know, not a great look. Hopefully those teams don't make any roster changes just because they had one bad performance. So you know, we'll see. But you know, regardless, um, we had a fun time here, and uh, it was nice being in Sweden. Nice being back. It's been a while since I've been here. And um, it is cold though, that's the one thing. And oh my god, every dude, they use like, ha but like, there's like, like, you know, single ply, and then there's like half ply, and then there's like quarter ply. The toilet paper here is terrible. Like, where are the bidets, dude? Come on. And don't, I don't want to see anyone in the comments saying like, oh, this is so bougie, bidets. Oh, dude, it's $30 for like the most minimum bidet but possible. I, I used a $30 bidet for like 10 years until I upgraded. Like, bidets are crazy. You're saving more money with the bidet than you are buying toilet paper, all right? I've had enough of your guys' bougie shit. Anyway, I'm going to go to the practice room now, review some VODs, and yeah, I'll see you guys after the game. Love you guys. Well, guys, a little land vlog update, you know? Again, okay, the only spot you'll pretty much ever see me at here in the practice room, but got everything packed up now. The land is over. We lost to BDS. Um... You know, they were crazy, honestly. They were a really good team. Like, at one point, we were just like, we, like, we tried to, we really tried to make a lot of adjustments. Um, and maybe if the comms come out, you'll hear all the adjustments we make. I don't think, I don't know if they'll show it all, because usually they try not to show strats and stuff, but 
Man, like we tried a lot of things and they're just crazy. Like Monkey Moon is probably the best player in the world easily right now. Uh, like there's never really been teams that can beat us in speed that much. And uh, that was just one of those cases where we just felt like outclassed. Um, it was rough, it was a tough loss. But I mean, we took it well. Uh, the second se first series we kind of got rolled. Second series we took it a little bit better. We kind of honestly, we, like, if you guys watched, you guys watched it, then you'll notice like we started laughing and kind of having fun with it. And low key, we literally started playing better because we were just like not caring and just trying to go for like sick plays. Like literally, that was like the strat was just like let's just not give a fuck anymore. Like we literally stopped talking about strats and we're just like, all right, fuck it, fuck it. We literally said fuck it. So. They played crazy, like honestly, they peaked. Mark by eight, literally never gave us room in the midfield. M uh, Monkey Moon literally beating us on every single challenge and always had a follow touch no matter what on defense. It was so hard and extra baited every single time we tried to get up on the field and it was difficult, but you know, they played well, hats off to them, you know. Uh, does that definitely deserve to win? They were the better team, but you know. Sucks we lost, but it's all good. It was all good. It was a fun land. I'm glad I got to see the boys. I got to see Musty, you got to see Garrett, Justin, Squish. Finally, the first time, uh, me, Squish, Justin, and Garrett met up for the first time, so that was really cool, having the whole team vibe, and um, it was fun. It was fun. It's nice being around the boys, and it's I think it's just, like, good team environment, and it's nice to have that, especially on lands, because, like, back in the day, I was on teams where it's, like, you know, the environment gets chalked after you lose, and everyone's, like, depressed, and no one talks, but, like, we hung out in our rooms and stuff, and ordered some food, and just talked, and chilled, and made a TikTok, just random shit, so it's good to see that, honestly, it really is, and uh, you know, most people will probably be like, you know, why why the fuck, why are you guys laughing and trolling, And I mean, really, we weren't trolling, we were still trying, it's just like, we tried to have a good time with it, because we were just so mind blown at how good they were, like seriously, um, but yeah, I saw some people asking why, why I didn't take a time out, um, Cause like at the end of every game, we kind of got momentum again. Like it was like, like they would be up two goals or three goals in the first series, and then we would come back and almost tie it up. And we kind of just didn't feel like we needed to. Uh, but you know, we knew it was there. We were thinking about taking it, but we were just like, I don't know. We had momentum at the end of every game. We just like couldn't finish out the series. Uh, and I, seriously, like they played so well. So, but yeah. Guess that's it for the land. I'm gonna be heading to the airport with Squishy tomorrow. We're going over to New York first. From New York, I'll be in San Diego. Nice back home, back to streaming, back to all that good stuff. Um, you know, I'll, we're definitely gonna watch back some of those VODs from BDS, because they were just crazy. I don't know, we kind of just felt unprepared. Like for the Phase series, I literally wrote down, like fucking, this is all the Phase notes. It is all phase. I just we just wrote down a bunch of shit. Even other even other other series like we were able to prepare in advance for. We just really couldn't. Like we had like BDS, we never really like we watched them, but it's like you can't really prepare for them. It really didn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered if you if we like prepared more. Like they peaked so hard that we would need to like watch a lot on them and kinda like get help from other teams to figure out how to beat them because seriously it was crazy like we, ne we never really like we sat down and watched replays of other teams but that's because we had time to prepare we didn't really have time for bds we just straight up like went into it not watching any, really any vods of them uh except for you know obviously the rss series we were able to catch all those but it's different when you're actually sitting there as a team pausing and reviewing who you're going to play against so it was good though Fun land. At least we got second. We're actually still first place in overall points, even though we got second place. So that's a really good sign. It's a good sign. We're we're just like we're just like two hundred or three hundred points ahead of phase as well. And uh I think we're I don't know how much more we're ahead of BDS, but we are ahead of BDS a little bit. But yeah. Anything else I wanna say before I close it out? Um not really. Love you guys. Make sure to uh, catch the streams, sub to the channel, all that stuff. Use code SIS. See you guys next time. Peace out, baby.